Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a video about attaching a top to a, well, a back. <laughs> so the guitar we're going to be working on today is a left-handed Strat for our buddy Kevin. And we're going to be using some cool woods and we're going to be using some cool techniques that uh, we haven't done before. Let's talk a little bit about the woods first. First is the back, which is a one piece of alder blank. Now, it is very rare to find one piece alder blanks that are, well, big enough to make a whole guitar out of. Um, I've got three or four more of these if you guys are interested in a one piece blank for your project or if you want us to build you a guitar with a one piece um, uh, body. So anyway, this, this alder looks super, super cool. And here is the piece of maple that we are going to be using for the top. And this has a little bit of flame in it and it's gonna look really, really cool once we get the black uh, burst on it. But what I want you to notice is this piece is just over a quarter inch thick right now. And that would be no big deal if we were just gonna glue it on there and cut it out and bind it. But Kevin wants the, um, the forearm contour, or in his case, it would be right here, to uh, like the regular Strat has. So we're going to bend this uh, maple cap around the forearm contour rather than just cut it off, because I think that looks uh, not as good. But that's just me. Um, so uh, bending a quarter inch top is very different from bending an eighth inch top. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. And the first thing that we're gonna do, uh, the top is already thicknessed. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, because I'm adding a quarter inch of maple to this, I need to take a quarter inch of alder off of the back. And uh, rather than do it when it's just a giant square, I'm gonna do it when it's a body, or roughly cut out body, so that um, I don't have to thickness all of this stuff in here. I just have to thickness what I need. It's just easier and faster. So I've got my uh, my template drawn on to the blank. We're going to go over to the bandsaw and rough cut it out. Now, I'm going to leave a good three quarters of an inch in some places because we're going to use screws instead of clamps every single place we can. And then we will just cut that out um, after it's all glued up and all those screw holes will just go away and uh, it will be magic. If you haven't watched my video on using screws instead of clamps, check it out sometime because um, it's, it's a total no-brainer and when you guys see it, you'll be like, oh yeah, I could do that and you will start doing it too. You just have to be cognizant to leave enough to screw into. So let's go over to the bandsaw and, and hack this guy out. So I've got the edge, I don't know if you can see that. Can you guys see that? The, this is the center line on the top, actually the glue surface of the top, and here is the center line on the edge of the body. And um, I've got that all lined up. So what I've done is I've drawn a line around the body blank, and I've extended the line where the um, comfort contour is gonna be, just to make sure we have plenty of um, of bendable surface. Um, it's usually not a big deal to go ahead and cut this out exactly right um, since we've cut it you know a full uh, half inch or three quarters over size anyway but uh, remember this is going to get the, the top bit is actually going to be bent so having a little bit extra meat there is not the worst idea in the world. So let's go over to the bandsaw and cut it out. All right so our top is all ready to go. And we can line up the little lines, and everything looks cool. Um, now what we have to do 
is we have to grind away the comfort contour on the body. And um, we probably need to, like the regular comfort contour probably would go maybe in this, this neighborhood. But remember, we're going to be adding a quarter of an inch. So if we put the comfort contour starting here, by the time we put the quarter inch on, it would only come to maybe in this neighborhood. So we're going we're gonna to kind of go big here. We're going to go maybe about that much with the comfort contour and we're only going to go uh, about down to, to right about there. And we will do that on the edge sander. Last night, seen your pale skin in the black light. Was a little bit scared, but too surprised. Oh, you had your boots on, and not much else. I knew I'd better behave myself and be cool. Well, you get through the She said. Alright, so we have our comfort contour, where, where is it, here it is, we have our comfort contour put in and I used our uh, edge sander and uh, one of the jitterbug sanders with a 60 grit pad on it to smooth everything out. Um, you could of course use any tool you want to do that, I just use what we have because it's easy for me. Um, one of the things that we want to go ahead and make sure we do is have a nice smooth transition from where the top is flat to where it starts. It, the uh, the contour itself. We don't want to have it go along and then a hard angle because that's going to be even trickier to bend around. Um, and the whole point of this isn't that we have a hard angle, it's that we have something nice to rest our forearm on or Kevin's forearm on. Um, as you saw in the, the, the last couple of things that I did, I drew out the body again to make sure that that was everything looks right and it's upside down because I play right-handed, but Kevin plays left-handed. So again, we have to work with all these lefty things. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take our top and we are going to set it on the back and get it as close to lined up as we possibly can. And I've already drawn out the, uh, the guitar on the top. And we're going to mark where this angle begins because this is a quarter inch. We're not going to be able to flex this enough to glue it down. We're going to need to, um, we're going to, need to hedge our bets a little bit. So um, I'm going to mark some, some lines here. I'm going to draw some lines and then we're going to, um, we're actually going to cut some slots in the top so that it bends a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a series of grooves an eighth of an inch deep in this top so that it can bend and flex, kind of like one of those snakes you find at those weird toy stores um, or Pier 1 or wherever the, you know, wherever they have those weird things. Um, now you could do this with heat and steam and, and flex, but the potential issue you have there is unless you get it to match just right, it's not going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and do this the easy way. I'm showing you the easy way to do this. So um, we're going to go and uh, we're going to put some grooves in here with um, a little tiny router and uh, let's do that now. Alright, so you saw me put these lines here in the back of the, in the glue surface of the top. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time trying to make them equidistant because all I really want to do is have a flexible point. I drilled a bunch of holes in the top and uh, recessed them and what we're going to do is, as you probably have guessed, is put screws in each one of these instead of clamps like we talked about. Um, the, uh, these grooves here will give us plenty of bendable, look at that, see when it was just a quarter of an inch we couldn't do that. Now it's, it's effectively an eighth of an inch through there and we can just 
bend that right down and it'll be exactly spot on. There's probably lots of ways you can do this. You could probably, um, you know, you could probably just take this all the way down to an eighth of an inch right through there and not have to drill a bunch of little lines. That'd work fine. Um, this way is, is pretty damn good, especially if you're going to burst it or bind it. If you're not going to burst or bind it and you just want it to be bent, I would advise you to use a thinner top or come up with some really wowie zowie uh, way to go. One thing I have done is I've done these lines until I get to almost the edge of the, um, the perimeter and that gives it enough to, to bend it, but you can still get some cracking or you can you know make this round over this uh, comfort contour a little less aggressive, something like that. Or you can heat it up, bend it, and see if you can get it to, to bend exactly perfectly right to where it glues right. Or you can just put binding on it or burst on it. But anyway, let's glue this bitch down and uh, I'll show you how well the screws instead of clamps works. And um, that will be that. Let's do it. So Mrs. Texas Toast has already asked what a bunch of you are about to ask, and that is, what are you going to use to spread the glue around with? A weenie roller. <laughs> Okay, so that is a fairly quick video about how one way to do a, a bent quarter inch top on a strap style left-handed body would be. Um, again, there's lots of ways to do this. This is just one way and it's a particularly easy way, uh, especially if you're going to have binding or something like that like we talked about. So if you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, Give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and check the little bell dealy thing. Uh, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to consider checking out our Patreon page and becoming a member over there. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys cool stuff like this. If you can't do Patreon, we totally understand. Um, what you could do above and beyond that, though, is share this video as many places as you think people would get something out of it. Um, that actually helps us out quite a bit. So, um, as always, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh,